what drives my passion for helping others is you know, my that's that's how I was raised you know is that indigenous societies were you know we were very globally focused you know on what it impacts everybody else versus what's good for me and what can I do to better myself you know is, is more like what what is best for everybody so I think that living for one another and you know caring for one another is something that is is really good for the larger community and it's good for us too and it serves both purposes and I really believe in that. Hi, I'm a Takiyapi. My name is Whitney Fear. I'm a member of the Olala Sioux Tribe and I am a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner at Family Health Care in Fargo, North Dakota and the acting chairwoman of the Fargo Native American Commission. Today is the in-person premiere, I guess, of the, the a film that I um, worked on with Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, Revive Health. If you own a pair of Crocs, even though you know they're super ugly, you might be a nurse. <laughs> we had a a, a kind of an online premiere in April um, when the film came out. So this is kind of more a like a in-person celebration. Like it's so weird. It was weird filming the movie. Like <laughs> it was really not uh, like the usual day to day, I guess, you know. I'm excited about it. I think it's going to be fun. My kids are going to be there with me. I'm hopeful that the, the film inspires, you know, young people or in, in, well, any indigenous people. You know, I hope that it inspires some school, you know, nursing schools and, and people in charge of education, healthcare professionals to think outside the box a little bit with their admissions process. I'm Lakota. I grew up in the country on the Pine Ridge Reservation. I see patients across the lifespan for treatment of mental health conditions and substance use disorders. I think it's very important for more Indigenous people to be involved in healthcare, and there's two reasons for that. The first is, you know, that our, our people, they really need us to be there. What we know about um, healthcare is that anybody can provide it, right? If you go to schooling, get the training, anybody can do it. Um, but what we do know is the more diverse our, our workforces are and the more opportunities are for your patients to have their care provided by somebody who looks like them or shares their beliefs, their health is better. The The second part of that is because I, I think it's such a natural fit for Indigenous people. Our culture, cultural values just align seamlessly with, um, you know, I think, I, I can't speak to other healthcare professions other than nursing, but you know, nursing is a holistic profession and um, you know being really focused on individualized care and things like that are just it, you know the the Lakota values that I was raised on are just like so seamlessly fit in with those values. When working with patients in my practice you know that's something that um, you know I've had many indigenous people tell me that it's a relief that they don't have to explain to me why the environment you know why the environment of the reservation um, how that impacted them, how things were for them growing up, um, all this background information, because I already know it, so they don't have to go through all of that. She is going to have vulnerable conversations with people in a way that makes them feel like they're cared for. I always say it's the essence of Whitney. You have to just understand how really good she is. Asking people how they want their care and what they think is possible because that is communicative of respect rather than compliance. You know, there's some things that just really align with, you know, that you can kind of lump all Indigenous people together. And I think one of those things is like that, that importance on making sure we're teaching the next generation our values and our beliefs. <laughs>